Greetings everyone, this is Timothy Young, the Digital Apothecary, and I'm going to do a little quick uh, video about something that really caught my attention on social media uh, for the past few days. So, this is basically Jimmy Choi, and he's um, known for fitness and such, and he has a huge following online, and he actually posted this really interesting video. So, he has Parkinson's, okay, and he talks about this, and he put this video out, and I'll play it, and it's about his struggles are actually um, self-administering medications. Now, for those that, you know, uh, maybe don't know too much about Parkinson's, it's a um, movement disorder that's characterized by a lack of dopamine in the brain that leads to extrapyramidal symptoms such as uh, tardive dyskinesia and things like that. So, again, like micro tremors and everything else, um, if you've seen Michael J. Fox in public, or seen him speaking, you probably have seen like his uh, movement um, issues associated with that. So, you know, this is actually something even I haven't really thought too much about. I mean, I have dealt with a lot of patients that have Parkinson's in the home healthcare setting, and, you know, we talk about treatment and such, but I've never really actually given thought to, like, you know, how hard it is to, you know, pick up the pills. Um, it's not something actually really on my mind a lot, and I, that's why I really value these online communities and, these, and just people sharing their stories because I think this, these experiences really stand out at the end of the day. So let's play this. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. But yeah, you can see he's having um, symptoms and he's trying to pick up his medications from a small pill container that it looks like he's probably dumped them all in there so he can just carry around, you know, stuff and as needed. And he's having difficulty. They are small. They are tiny. I mean, you know, all the times that we dispense medications from a pharmacy, there's some small ones out there. Everyone talks about, you know, those big horse pills and such, whether it's like Walcol, well Metformin, things like that. And, you know, small sometimes seems great from a manufacturing perspective, um, but... You know, I never really thought about this. And this really stands out to me because this is very difficult. Now, this um, this one actually got about 66,000 likes. It has been making its round on Twitter and every other kind of place out there. Um, but what's very interesting is a community actually got together and they said, well, maybe we can print you a better pill bottle. I would never have thought of something like this. And 3D printing has always been kind of a remiss thing to me. In terms of in the healthcare space for patient needs, I've seen a lot of different things over time. I've seen people 3D print like uh, can you use glucose monitoring device uh, patches to help it stay on longer, so you don't bump them. I've seen a few other things, but pills? No, no, this is new. So they came with this interesting cap, and you can see how it's designed to go over a bottle to basically make it easier. And um, he has one. Now I don't know his full thoughts in terms of like how well it works you know but it seems like something that's designed for an actual problem that we often don't talk about i mean i don't teach about these types of things and i don't think most healthcare practitioners even really think about it but there is a need there is a huge need for this type of stuff and i think this is amazing how communities and online uh, platforms can come together for this now um, another post i saw on twitter that really stood out to me recently was a uh, physician that was talking about how his mind was blown because he did not know you could flip the top on a pill bottle. Now, what I mean by this is here. So this is a um, pill bottle you get from a pharmacy from Walgreens. Now, Walgreens and Walmart um, have interesting uh, pill bottles where you can actually remove the cap. You know, um, that's like this has a safety so you can hear it click. And now it's locked. That's supposed to be child protective safety. And that's kind of a standard in the United States. Now, what you could do is just flip the cap upside down and screw that in instead. And voila, it's easy to grab and you don't have to do the safety and you can just unscrew it right away. I showed this to my mom several months ago um, who did not know this was a thing. And I've shown patients this over the years and I've talked about this in some other videos. There are some stuff like this design, um, but I don't think it's really broadcasted well. His, his, he got a lot of comments and he got a lot of likes and such online about this, and I think it just goes to show, like, even just the small things can have huge benefit to patients if only 
it was presented in a medium that's easy to follow and easy to see. Now, you know, back to uh, this whole, um, you know, this whole case with um, Parkinson's, there's been a few articles out there. If you want to see some of them about even like how to print it and stuff like that, um, I'm going to link this article in the comments, uh, I mean, in the description below so you can look in the view that and give it a further read. But I, I, I honestly, you know, my, my takeaway from this is don't, don't discard online communities and don't discard uh, what people post on like Reddit, Twitter, or TikTok about their healthcare and the small needs they have because they are, I think there's, there's opportunities there. I think there's huge growth potential. Whether or not they're gonna be multi-billion dollar businesses, no, maybe, but I think for, Many of us, we can look at this as things that we can, you know, reflect on and say, hey, this is something we should talk about or take into consideration for our patient needs. So, you know, I just want to keep this short, but I thought it was very, very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to hearing your comments or thoughts. So take care. Have a good day. This is Timothy Youngs, the Digital Apothecary.